Okay, welcome to another Orbiter video. And in this series, we are we went from Earth all the way out to Jupiter, uh, got into orbit around Io, undocked the XR2 from the Aero Freighter that made the long journey from Earth out to Io, and now we are landing. We are in the middle of landing at Io base. Uh, when I ended the last video because I knew there was still a bit left to do on the landing so rather than have that video go really long I just thought I'd break it up into two parts all that said let's switch camera views here and jump back into the flight so let me unpause and so we are about three and a half kilometers from the from the landing from, well from the middle of the base I don't actually know about the landing pad yet we're 50 kilometers up we won't get the information I need for landing pad one until we get down a bit lower trying to watch my vertical speed um, so I'm thinking now I should maybe translate four just a little bit faster and I'm not quite sure how this vertical speed is going to work so I'm gonna turn on a bit of hover now just to start bringing that down just so I don't have to like have a last moment panic in fact let me kind of almost zero it out at this point or get it really low we still have a long way to fall so I don't want to you know bring it all the way down but Rotation. translation. but it just makes me nervous to see it that high okay so that's pretty good there so now we're falling at you know 50 meters a second or something like that feels a bit more controllable um, what else do we have going on so at some point we need to remember to put down the landing gear because we haven't done that yet so we're about three kilometers out probably still can't get landing pad one no we're still too high so we need to descend when we get down below roughly 25 kilometers we should have the information we need for landing pad one take a quick look outside and you can see here's what we have going on um, technically we're like that we're moving forward towards the base I, I guess maybe Io has no mountains or anything like that so I probably didn't need to arrive as high as I did I just wasn't sure and when I did this type of thing out at the moon we all know how that went well, maybe you don't. I crashed into a mountain on the moon because Orbiter 2010 was flat and you could bring your altitude all the way down to one meter basically above the above the landing site. Let me go ahead and take out that hover, descend a bit more. So about two, a little over two and a half kilometers from the middle of the base, moving forward at about seven and a half meters a second. So we'll get there. And we're descending. Let's see if we have any dynamic pressure here. Mm, we do not. Okay. All right. What did I have up over here? I forgot. Couldn't have been important. Must not have been using it. So about two and a half kilometers to go. I guess uh, maybe we can move forward just a little bit faster. So bring that up to say 10 and then as we get closer we'll start taking that out um, all right so I think here is when we get down around 25 kilometers we should have landing pad one so then I'll bring down my vertical speed a little bit for now we're just going to descend because we, we were up to almost 300 meters a second and I was able to take that out pretty quickly using the uh, hover engines okay let's see oh okay good we have landing pad one now so we can start thinking about that so a little bit of translation in that direction to get lined up maybe take out some of that forward translation to slow things down just a little bit rotation and I like to be rotated such that I am in straight ahead alignment with the landing pad like that okay so 230 meters per second on the uh, vertical speed let's go ahead and 
put in a lot of hover just to take that number down to a more manageable number. Not efficient to do it this way. Ideally you want to fall as as far as you possibly can and only engage hover at the last possible moment, but safety first. <laughs> okay, so now we're falling a bit slower, a bit more manageable. About a 1.5 kilometers to the middle of the landing pad. Look outside and you can see what we have going on. Um, yeah. If I wonder, I highly doubt it, but let me check. I'm just going to see if I bring up a camera. Can I see below me or anything like that? No. Oh, hey, look at that. I can. That's awesome. So we don't have to look outside anymore. We can just use that camera. Okay, so we're at about 16 kilometers, falling at 100 meters a second. I wonder how those attach points are decided, because I would like to create some new attach points, but I have no idea how that works. Okay, so we're about one kilometer from the middle of the pad. Let me take out some of this horizontal speed, uh, vertical speed. Because I want to be able to concentrate on getting lined up over the pad without panicking over over my vertical speed. We will use the auto land autopilot. But I want to get lined up over the pad before I worry about that. You go ahead and keep in just a small amount of hover so that we're not falling super fast because now I really do need to concentrate on the uh, landing pad lineup and as I've said in so many other videos we don't have to try to get it to 0.0, .0. and um, in fact I think it's I think once you get near the middle you just want to concentrate on getting your vertical your horizontal speed down to zero focusing too much on you know trying to keep that distance down to zero is um, it, you're just you're you're like trying to uh, hang on translation the way I, the way I think about it it's like standing on top of a penny and you're trying to walk around the penny trying to find the center of the penny it's you're 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 there you're on top of it you know so we are 180 meters from the middle of the pad we are at eight kilometers. Vertical speed is increasing. Let's put in a bit more hover, slow things down. 100 meters from the middle of the pad. We'll take out some of that forward velocity now, slow things down. So we're over top of the pad now. And I should have slowed that down a little bit sooner. We're overshooting, a bit unfortunate. quick burst of uh, retro. Okay, so now, uh, again, we are over the pad. Um, I guess actually that camera point might be where we are in relation to the pad. So now, so my point is, even if I took out all of my horizontal speed right now, we would be landing on the pad. But since we still have a bit of time, I will try to get it as close to zero as I can. But once I get it close to zero, I'm not going to focus so much on, you know, constantly checking. Okay, vertical speed just went. Okay, so let's go. So we're one point, you know, something meters from the middle of the pad. So now I really want to concentrate on getting my horizontal speed virtually zeroed out. So it's zero. It's not going to stay like that, but it's good enough. Now I will look back over here every now and then, but for now, uh, I want to focus on my altitude. We will use the uh, the auto land because we have the technology. Might as well use it. And it's. Which one is it? This one. So we uh, select auto land. Now we engage. Actually, we need to put down the landing gear. 
but we engage and then select auto land and put down the landing gear. And we had somehow lost our camera. So now the auto land autopilot will take care of my vertical speed for me. I don't have to worry about that. So now I can focus on staying near the middle of the pad. Alright, we're almost there. You are cleared to land. Landing gears down. Here is our target. One thousand, eight hundred, six hundred, five hundred, four hundred, three hundred. I really like those cameras. I'm so glad Dimitri told me about those. One hundred, seventy-five, fifty, forty, thirty. Twenty, fifteen, ten, eight, six, five, four, three, two, one. Wheels down. Wheels down. I did not hear wheel stop. Wheel stop. Okay, so I engaged the brakes for wheel stop. We made it. What a very long journey. How many parts was this mission? Um, it was a lot. Let's come over here. Let's turn off the APU to get rid of that noise. Let's look down here for a moment so we can turn on external cooling because we are at a base. Even though, like I've said in other videos, anytime you're landed or docked, you can always use external cooling, but it's a bit unrealistic to land in the middle of uh, a countryside somewhere and turn on um, like external cooling and open your locks lines and refuel. But here, I feel like, you know, since we do have, we technically have a base here, so I feel like it's uh, it's okay to do that. And yeah, Io looks like, a, like it's a, a very flat place. And I placed this base so that we would have a good view of Jupiter. Um, I guess I should rotate that landing pad so it's facing the other direction, but it's okay. So, for example, we would have to, like, turn all the way around to see Jupiter. All right, we made it. Uh, control S to save. I'm a little curious how the Aero Freighter is doing, so let me just qu quickly check it. Welcome aboard, Commander. All systems nominal. So the Aero Freighter appears to... <laughs> <clears throat> appears to still be in orbit. Oh, I need a sip of water. And it doesn't look like its orbit has been perturbed badly. I was worried that, you know, well, I guess really we weren't warping time for that long because we, we undocked from the aero freighter just one orbit ahead. So yeah, it, it would have been fine in just that one orbit that it took us to land. Let's go ahead and go back to the XR2. And uh, that almost scared me to be honest. Forgot that stuff was there. So there's Jupiter. Let's switch camera views here. I, I've already done a quick save. We're done. We made it. That is the mission complete. So what's next? I don't know. Um, I don't know if I want to do anything more with this scenario or just, uh, or just go on and try something completely different. But I do want to give a, a special thanks again to Dimitri for, um, uh, updating, I guess, the Aero Freighter so that it at least has the base functionality in Orbiter 2016 to make a mission like this possible. From what I understand, it's not completely uh, up and running yet. There are parts of it that aren't working, <clears throat> but at the very least, as far as like having a long haul vessel that can take you through the solar system, that part of it's working, and that for me was the most important part for this particular mission. 
so yeah that's gonna wrap it up and uh, if you like the mission please do leave a comment down below let me know that you made it to the end uh, let me know what your uh, favorite parts were and of course you know any thoughts you have otherwise always uh, looking looking forward to reading your guys's comments so with that I'll end it here and as always I will see you in the next video if there is one